In January 2022, Canadians put their livelihoods on the line and trucked across our country to uphold the rights and freedoms of all Canadians because of unreasonable mandates being imposed by our federal and provincial governments. I think for a lot of people, it was very cathartic to, to go to the convoy and to just talk to random strangers. I mean, that was a big part of the experience. You know, French speaking, English speaking, Alberta, Quebec, you know, talking to each other, hugging, sharing food together, being out in the cold, dancing. There was a lot of dancing on the streets there. I mean, all hours of the, the day and the night. The things that I witnessed uh, firsthand uh, out on the streets were very wide across the spectrum of beautiful events and ugly events. You know, the things that the police did uh, on those last two days were just inhumane and disgusting. And something that I, I learned a little bit after, shortly after my time at the convoy was there was a deliberate reason um, that the police were able to turn off their humanity and attack all these protesters. The days that the police attacked, the leadership of the, the police involved took the Ottawa police out of there because they knew that it would be difficult for the Ottawa police to do what they did because for three weeks, the Ottawa police that were on the ground, the police liaison teams, knew what the protesters were like. They knew what they were about. They knew that they were not violent and they knew that it was a peaceful protest. And so the leadership of the police said, we can't have them going in there and beating the hell out of veterans and, and peaceful protesters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the Ottawa police out and we're gonna bring in police that have no relationship. And we're going to tell those police, the new ones coming in, that they're violent and they're criminals and, you know, they're vile. We're going to psychologically prepare them to go in and justifiably beat uh, veterans and Canadians. And they put non-English speaking police on that line with the protesters. So they couldn't have a dialogue. So it freed the police psychologically to go in and harm Canadians without any sort of remorse. It made me feel... Um, furious, truthfully, the, uh, the violent piece. Now, you know, again, I, I've got a real spectrum of emotions the entire time I was there. There was moments where you really felt proud of the fact that Canadians came together and they were doing that, especially on the weekends when you saw the city swell full of, of Canadians that were coming in to support the convoy, to find out for themselves. And so that felt good to be part of something that was uh, giving people that hope, because hope was a word that we constantly heard. Um, the opposite end of that is, you know, the violence at the police. That was frustrating. That was in incredibly infuriating, and I was angry about that. This book is an insider story. It's about my personal experience and right or wrong, how I influenced the decisions we made during the People's Emergency Act.